Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna be reacting to Llama Arts, a terrifying morning jog story animation. If you got any other suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, got a disco you want to join us so in the description or comment section down below. Let's get straight to it. The story is told by a perspective of a woman. Before heading to my local community college for classes, I like to wake up at around 5 in the morning for a brisk morning jog. It helps clear my head and definitely helps wake me up so I can focus in class. Ooh. When I first started doing this, it was a huge hassle. But over time, I grew accustomed to it, and it's now <coughs> a highlight of my day. However, as time went on, I found myself becoming quite uncomfortable. Not in a physical sense, but more so it was like my fight or flight instincts began kicking in seemingly at random. I'd whip my head around to see if anybody was following me or even peeking at me through the wooded park in which oh. I ran, but couldn't see anybody. It didn't help that it was dark either, so even if there was somebody creeping in the dark, there was no way I could tell. As an extra precaution, I started carrying around some pepper spray in order to fend off any would-be attackers. But as time went on and that eerie sensation occurred more and more, I just couldn't bring myself to run anymore. A friend of mine, Daniel, a self-proclaimed runner himself, told me that I shouldn't worry about it. He said that the mind plays tricks on oneself when it can't see things clearly, that is especially true. in the dark. After being reassured by him, I decided to give jogging another go. So, today, like any other day, I slapped on some black leggings, tied my hair up in a ponytail, put on my kicks, and set my music volume to full blast and headed out the door. Did you just hear what he said? Put the music to blast. Why would you do that? You should do that with one earplug in and the other one should be out. Because you never know who's around you, bruh. I felt fantastic at first and was loving the cool breeze and crisp morning air. But then, about halfway into my jog, a tall and hooded figure Whoa. stepped out onto the path in front of me. Hey. Quickly, I pulled out my pepper spray yes, and yelled at the person to leave me alone. The person quickly pulled down their hood. Revealing themselves to be Daniel. I sighed with relief as he approached and laughed at how funny it was that we okay. ran the same path. I expressed to him that I felt safer knowing he was around. Are you sure? Daniel, about that? however, stepped a little too close and gave a crooked smile. He said that of course I was safe with him, as apparently I had been safe with him for weeks. The realization of what he meant quickly dawned on me. As his hands began to creep their way around my waist, I screamed at him to let me go and prepared to spray him. <laughs> yeah. But he slapped it out of my hand and proceeded to grab what? my throat. With strange screams, I begged him to let me go and for someone to help me. He yelled at me and tightened Punch him in his the nuts, breath, bro. asking why I wasn't thankful for his watchful eyes for the past several weeks. I was stunned at the complete personality change from the once gentle friend I knew. Pretty soon, I started to black out and grow weak. But just before passing out, I could hear the sounds of dogs barking hey. and older man screaming for Daniel to let me go. In a panic, he released me and ran back into the woods. I gasped for air before I began sobbing That's as the crazy. man escorted me out of the park and brought me straight to the police station. And despite my fears and reservations, I told them everything I knew about Daniel, or what I thought I knew, and what he had done to me. They immediately sent a patrol car out and told me that everything would be okay. The next day, I heard Daniel never showed up to class. He had been arrested several hours later hey, after I yes. left the police station and confessed to everything with a disgusting amount of self-righteousness. He was recorded as saying, she needed me. Only I can protect her. Who knows what could have been hiding in those woods. You? It took me a while to feel comfortable going Motherfuck. back to school. And even then, my trust in people was never the same again. I guess even the ones you were close to can snap just like that. At 
any time. When your friends could be your enemies, bro. You never know. It's crazy, crazy, man. Story by Hootser. Woo! Shout out to Llama Arts, though. That was a good one story. Damn, bro. That's why you always got to watch your surroundings. When you're walking outside, never put both headphones on. Leave one out and put it one on. That's the best tip I could give you. Like, subscribe, turn notification on. If you got any other suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, got a disco you want to join? So, in the description or comment section down below. See you in the next one. Peace.